Hey guys, today we're taking a look at the Room Pocket. This is an app that is essentially free in the App Store, but if you pay $1.99, you can actually get the full version here. That's what we're taking a look at, the full version. This is a really high, in my opinion, one of the high graphics, high-end puzzle games out there for iOS right now. You can just see, uh, really what I want to utilize here is the stunning graphics they have here, the 3D modeling, uh, and basically, you know, you have full control, and basically these puzzles that you have to get into these boxes in the beginning, you play the tutorial, in this case, I have three seals I need to find out how to get into and how to open it. And basically, you have to go through using clues around the object and examining objects on how you can open it. So, for example, you can see here a plate with the eye symbol on it doesn't seem to move. So you can see I have to gather clues around the box on each end, everything that is interactive, and examine it and see how I can find a way to open it. So in this case, I have some numbers here that I need to find out how to get the combination to. I have some other symbols over here that I need to find out. Uh, play with the cog symbol, so you can see there I need to find out everything I can about this that will allow me to uh, open this. And you have things like eye pieces, which allow you to uh, you know, see certain symbols and stuff like that. You have other things like uh, the hints, which will help you out here. So for example, I can use this hint right here and I'll say clue one of four, where to start. The four number wheels in the square look interesting. So you can see the four number wheels and the squares right here. We have these right here too, which I have to probably spell a word with, which I'm guessing. And again, you can just have full control over here. You can see there's stuff I can examine around the top here. Look, it looks like I have a symbol right there. And you can see you can zoom in on it using gestures. All this stuff is really, really great. And it's, you know, this is definitely uh, one of the great mystery thrillers out there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and examine more around the box and you can see Looks like this one shows numbers, so maybe these numbers can help me out here. So you can see I see a 5, a 7, looks like some other numbers around here, so a 5 and a 7. Looks like there's a 0, you can see here you have to look at these from certain angles to see the numbers here. So you got a mix of numbers here, and then you just kind of want to find a way to open each individual, each individual key, which is basically a level to get into this box. As you go through the game, you get objects. Like in this case, I found a book hidden in this little piece right here of the uh, the box, and you can use gestures like uh, tapping and spinning here to rotate. It looks like in this case, I need to find a way to open this book here. So let's see if I. I'm guessing I have to rotate it a certain way in order for these to click open. I'm guessing. So I'm gonna keep on rotating until I can find a way. I'm guessing maybe I need to find a certain... Oh, look, you can see I can rotate this too. So in this case, I might have to rotate this a certain angle, and then giving me the ability to open the rest here. So you can see you have complete control here, and if you need a clue, again, you can use another clue. I said examine the book more closely here. So I can probably find some other things dealing with the book here. I can use another clue. I have a certain number of clues here. Uh, so we'll see here. And you can see after a little bit of uh, messing around, I was able to open the book and the book contained a key, which looks like it's for winding something dealing with clockwork. So now I can take that item and kind of interact with that uh, into something else that may benefit me. So I can see I can drag items here and if it doesn't fit, then I can kind of move around here. Maybe I have something here that will fit. And if it doesn't fit, then I'll, I can again just move on uh, to other parts of the uh, box here so maybe nope nothing it looks like it works here and again I can just keep on examining until I can find something that looks like this may fit that nope but again you can just see how immersive this puzzle is I mean there's so much to it there's so much uh, to kind of uh, intrigue yourself in and uh, mess around with I mean I can you you have to examine everything you need to look really closely in terms of how to open things and then as you progress you progress through different levels you can pause the game here you can quit the game and then that will take you back to the main menu and if you quit your progress will be saved so if you see that uh, your progress will be saved I'll say quit game so you, you have the safety of knowing you know you can come back and pick up where you left off uh, like I said the beginning when you get the game it's free but there's so much more to it I mean you if you pay that 199 you get so much uh, in the game you can even reset the game if you want to try over and have somebody else play the room has a really ominous sort of feel to it. It has this great soundtrack going in there. 
uh, kind of like a creepy feel, but at the same time, it's a really awesome puzzle, uh, not really a thriller game, but more of a puzzle mystery based game, which I really, really like to it. Uh, and there's so much to kind of dive into, so much to examine. If you are into these type of mystery type of games, definitely check out The Room, uh, available on iOS on the iPhone. It is free, again, pay that $1.99, you get access to all the levels and so much more, so much more puzzles. And again, just a high quality, high base graphics game on the iPhone. Check it out today.